Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a new video today and today I'm really excited to film this new video because it is a little bit out of the norm of what I usually film which is beauty or fashion. This is going to be a mommy video, my first mommy video ever. So I'm super excited for this one. So this video is going to be, drum roll, it's going to be what is in my baby bag, diaper bag slash diaper baby bag, whatever you want to call it. So this is my diaper bag baby bag um being a fashionista myself this is what i like wanting to go for a more fashionable styling you know type of bag <clears throat> so this is the it's just a regular big michael kors um purse but it obviously can be used for a baby bag because it's really spacious and it just has like the detailing of the Michael Kors um, emblem on here and then it has just Michael Kors a simple gray bag this was actually gifted to me by one of my good friends um she knew this is what I wanted as my baby bag and um, I hadn't purchased mine yet so she went ahead and gave it to me um and I just think gray is perfect because it's just gender neutral I knew I was gonna have my son but um I still wanted to go with the gray gray bag because it would match with pretty much every outfit I would wear so I can stay looking stylish with my outfit. Um, so let's jump right in and see what I carry in my baby bag. So the first thing that I'm going to share is the diaper changing mat. So obviously this is the mat that you put under, you know, where you're going to change them when you're out in public. Um, so this is pretty much what it looks like. It's a changing mat. So, you know, when you go to the public restrooms or if you're at someone else's home or you're all visiting. So, again, Gray, I was really opting for usually getting great things for him. This is the Eddie Bauer um, changing mat you can find at Target. Um, not too sure. I don't really remember the pricing for this. It's been a while, but um, definitely you can find it at Target. So, Gray obviously has been my color for his stuff. And then, of course, I have a toy for him. I don't want to make too much noise because I'm sleeping in the back. So... Um, this is the, uh, Little Einstein, um, toys, and it's an octopus, it has a mirror on it, and then it has, like, a little rattle, and then some shapes for him to grab on. Um, I usually take a toy, so if he gets a little bit fuzzy, I can, you know, um, you know, show it to him, and he can grab on, and, you know, play. I really am a fan of the Little Einstein toys, because everything that they have, um, is some sort of, you know, it serves a purpose for some sort of, like, um, development for themselves, you know, either like bright colors or the shapes or the textures. So a lot of that, their stuff is very, um, helping in the developing of your baby. So I have this little octopus as one of the toys that I carry in his bag for when we're out and about. Then I also carry this, um, a <clears throat> excuse me, I carry a pacifier for him, but I, my son doesn't really use a pacifier. This is the, from the... I forgot the brand that this is, but anyway, um, I usually would always carry a pacifier just in case because I tried giving my son the pacifier, you know, when he was extremely fuzzy. I carry the pacifier, but my son doesn't really use it, so I just carry it just in case if there ever were, he'll want to take it and, you know, he'll feel better, but this I hardly ever use. This is the box that it came in, and I try to keep it on here just so it could be easier for me to find the pacifier in the bag and I'm not going crazy. You know, having him screaming and I'm like looking for the pacifier. So I have it in the little box. Then I also carry, obviously, his little wipes. So I like to carry this little bag. It's very portable. It doesn't look like a, you know, regular old, you know, like little wipes. Um, like the ones that are like the little, that have a little flap here and you carry the little plastic one. This is a little bit more thicker material. You obviously open it up here like a Ziploc through. Fill your wipes whenever you can. It has a little handle so it's good, you know. For you to have it on the go. So I carry my wipes. And then I have an extra shirt for him here. Just a bit simple, you know, onesie for him. Just in case he gets dirty. I always carry like a shirt. Or if he's wearing socks that day, I'll throw in socks. But I'll do that that day of. Depending on what he's wearing. But I always leave that shirt in there just in case. Because you never know. It's a, it's a onesie so he can wear whether it's sunny or it's a little chilly out. He can always wear that. And then, um, I was carrying these extra wipes. I don't even know why I still have them. They give these to me at the hospital and I just left them in my baby bag. They're just, an, it's just an extra pack of wipes. So, usually these, I don't know, I'm a little bit more like, I don't know. Like, they're like a little travel pack. Um, 
But I've just been saving them for emergency, not that I like this is what I reach for. I just have them in my bag just in case, you know, anything spills or I, my wipes run out for any reason. And then I carry the Desitin for him. Um, the one that I like to use is the A and D. I had to look at the name. The A and D ointment, which is more of a creamier, like Vaseline type of texture to put on him in case you know he's getting a little rash or you know to prevent rashing. But um, I had I have like the little actual like big tub. But just in my purse, I did get this um, Desitin Rapid Relief, which is the cream. Not too much of a fan for this one because it's more of a cream, like more white. It leaves like the actual white in there as opposed to Vaseline. It just goes on clear. This little brush, which I always like having it to comb his hair to the side. Um, I'm always having him like a little preppy boy. So I always carry his little brush um, just in case his hair gets too crazy, which is a little bit hard to tame. His hair is a bit wild. Um, then I always carry, right now I currently have two because I did use one over the weekend. But I always like to carry three diapers for him. These are the Pamper Swallers, but I do not like the Swallers anymore. I just had these because I've been carrying them around my bag and I still haven't used them. But I personally love the Pampers Baby Dry. I feel like they really do hold up a lot longer. And just the way they fit, it feels like they're just a much more comfortable, better fit for my son. But I do carry these. I usually always carry three, so I need to put one on, one more in there. So I always like to carry three diapers with me, um, just in case you know poopy explosions or he just you know um, has some pee. And then I always carry this bib with him on in my baby bag. Always this little bib. Um, it's like a little like those little bandana looking bibs. I always carry this one because it's a little bit more like fashionable. So when we're out, I like to you know. Usually he, he wears his own bib because he is salivating a lot more now. So I always usually have a bib on him. So he'll have the one he has on him. But this is always my extra that I have in my purse. So whenever we're out, if I need to switch his bib, he has his little fashionable one. I have his lotion, which I just love the way this lotion smells, guys. It smells delicious. So I always do carry my Johnson's Baby Lotion, you know, to clean his face or... Sometimes, you know, with the milk, it spills and, he, you know, it kind of smells. So I clean his face with the lotion or for his hands or any little thing. You know, I have my lotion with me. And I think that is about it, guys. And then usually also, you know, when we do travel, my baby is on formula now. So I do have, I carry his bottles, his formula, and a water bottle all the time. So that's usually, I just pack that the day of that we're going to go out. So again, this is what the bag looks from the inside. Like, it's really spacious. So it has, you know, one side and then it has like the two pockets in here. Pretty large. And then it has a zippered one in here, which you can open it up and put stuff in there. And then it has like two actual little, little flaps. No, I think, does it have two? No, so just one. This one, and then the other side, the other compartments. And then it is where, I, on these little pockets where I usually put his bottles in here. So it's really big, um, and it's really fashionable. I get to carry it on my purse, you know, like a little diva, a little mom diva. So that is it. That is what I carry in my diaper bags. I hope you guys enjoyed this new video. I know for some of you, if you don't have kids, you're like, okay, why did I want to watch that? But for some of you who maybe are mommies like me, you know, you understand the cause and the struggle and, you know, finding a, the perfect bag to put everything in there because once you have a baby, you end up stuffing, like, everything in your baby bag so i hope you guys enjoyed this video this new mommy video i plan to do more mommy videos in my channel so i'm gonna make it you know fashion beauty and mommy videos because now i have another thing to relate to like another you know group of girls like some of us are moms and you know we have other things to talk about also along with beauty and fashion because of course who doesn't love all that stuff so thank you guys so much for watching um if you like this type of video and you want to see more give my video a big old thumbs up and if you want to see other type of mommy videos leave me a comment below and let me know which ones you want to watch and i'll definitely you know make the time to get those out to you guys so thank you guys so much for watching again don't forget to follow me on my blog my fashion blog at fashionista and the city .com. instagram at fashionista and the city underscore snapchat ash gasoloom same as my youtube channel name and then twitter at sg underscore 24 don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so for, you know for beauty fashion and mommy videos now Follow me on my channel. Um, give a big video big old thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.